Hey guys and girls, first thing to talk about is if you're doing a half marathon, come and see me. Because uh, a lot of people I see go to marathons and half marathons, they look totally unprepared. They finish it where they're literally looking crippled, they're waddling, their hips are messed up, their calves are messed up. And the funniest thing is that you see a lot of packets of crisps and Lucozades which means that they really don't get the whole point of the marathon lifestyle. So when I say lifestyle to exercise all the time, what I mean by that is there are certain things that you have to do in terms of relaxation, sleep, what you eat, the activities that you do. And depending on the activity you choose to do, it's a different lifestyle, right? Because there are a different amount of hours into each thing. So if you're a muscle building guy, your lifestyle is very different to a lady that's going to get into marathon running. Even though you're both into fitness, they're completely different branches of lifestyle, nutrition, um, rest, the people you hang out with, the things you do, the events that you're going to go to, completely different. The material you'll read, uh, the way that you approach things, to me that's a different lifestyle. Anyway, back to half marathons. The thing is that you're going to these events and if you're not preparing six months before, I would say welcome to the physiotherapist, the osteopath, the chiropractor, the rolfing specialist. I've got a whole list of those guys on my uh, um, association that I, I work with and, and laugh with when we see uh, douchebag clients or people that should have prepared a lot longer before. So an impressive client, someone that comes six months, even a year before the event, and they've worked on all the rehab, all the functionality, all the nutrition, way, way before the event, so that when they do the event, it's just enjoyable and probably gonna be the best time ever because they're enjoying themselves, they probably get the best time, as in time to reach at the end of the line, ever, because it's that competitive edge of all those people being there. Because when you're training on your own, it's grueling, it's horrible, but there's this energy that you get from other people if you're a positive person. If you're not, just turn off the video, don't watch this and go and be miserable on your own. But if you're one of the more positive people, you get that energy from other people. You want to get engaged, you want to do better so that other people do better as well. So when you enter the half marathon, do it for a good reason. Do it for a charity, which gives you a bit of association to doing something inspiring and positive. Do it as a team, show it on your Facebook and Instagram because you want to share the thing you're doing. And also that allows you to be watched by others and appreciated by others. And that gets you uh, a psychological makeup of wanting to work harder. Do it with your trainer, let your trainer know that you're going to train for a half marathon so he, he or she can give you uh, three uh, cardiovascular workouts that you do on your own and then you could do two or three weight training, conditioning, flexibility, rehab sessions with them so that you're getting the best of all worlds because you want to go into that half marathon with legs that are strong and toned and muscular that can deal with the joint and ligament strain wear and tear because you've conditioned them muscularly speaking and then you also want to have the cardiovascular treatment conditioning that you've dealt with all the issues and problems, imbalances, weaknesses that may be caused. So look at the things like hamstring flexibility, uh, hip flexor flexibility, the groin flexibility, your posture. I mean, when you start running, is your posture gonna be improved or is it gonna deteriorate because you're hunching? There's all these things to think about and a lot more, which I'm not gonna go into. So, if you wanna do some proper training and get into a half marathon and really enjoy it, and really get fulfilled and do, do well doing it and feel great about doing it and get people involved, check out the website awpts.com and we'll do some training.